Did you ever realize that diabetes can affect more than just your blood sugar levels? It can have other impacts on your health beyond just that one aspect. Brace yourself because your skin might be trying to tell you something important. Did you know that skin changes often go hand in hand with diabetes? Discover the telltale signs your skin might be dropping hints about your health status. Let's delve into the world of diabetes and its skin manifestations. When diabetes makes its mark on your skin, it's often a red flag that your blood sugar levels have been running high for a while. Surprisingly, some of these skin changes may show up even before you've officially been diagnosed with diabetes. Others could signal that your current diabetes treatment might need tweaking. No matter the case, it's crucial to schedule a visit with your doctor for a diabetes screening or to discuss potential adjustments to your treatment plan. By doing so, you'll safeguard your skin and prevent any serious complications that could affect other parts of your body. Keep watching and click the subscribe button below to uncover these skin signs your skin might be trying to reveal about your health. First on our list is granuloma annulare, a skin condition. Characterized by the development of raised, flesh-colored, or reddish bumps that tend to form circular or arc-shaped patterns on the skin. While the rash typically does not cause pain, it may induce mild itching in some individuals. Importantly, granuloma annulare is not contagious, meaning it cannot be transmitted from person to person. This condition resolves spontaneously within a few months without the need for treatment. Yet, the precise mechanisms behind its development remain incompletely understood. There is a belief that inflammation plays a significant role in the formation of granuloma annulare lesions. Granuloma annulare has been associated with various medical conditions, including diabetes, autoimmune disorders, thyroiditis, and high cholesterol, hyperlipidemia. Although the exact link between these conditions and granuloma annulare is not fully elucidated, their co-occurrence suggests a potential shared underlying mechanism or predisposing factors. Number two, necrobiosis lipoidica is a relatively rare inflammatory condition characterized by the development of small, red-raised patches on the shins, typically appearing bilaterally. However, these patches can also emerge in other body areas, such as the hands or trunk. These lesions start as singular or multiple patches, gradually increasing in size over time. They often coalesce to form larger, irregularly shaped patches with well-defined red borders. Notably, these patches may exhibit a yellowish center and visible blood vessels. This condition is predominantly observed in individuals with diabetes, encompassing both type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Despite its association with diabetes, the exact cause of necrobiosis, lipoidica, remains unclear. However, several theories propose that the condition could result from damage to collagen fibers, which are essential for skin strength. This damage to the skin's structural integrity may contribute to developing necrobiosis lipoidica lesions. Number 3. Xanthelasma it is a dermatological condition characterized by the accumulation of excess cholesterol, leading to flat or slightly raised yellowish growths in the vicinity of the eyelids. These deposits, while typically harmless on their own, can act as possible signs of hidden health problems, particularly uncontrolled diabetes or high cholesterol levels. When individuals experience a breakout of small reddish-yellow bumps across their body, it could signify an underlying metabolic disorder. Uncontrolled diabetes emerges as one of the primary triggers for such eruptions. These manifestations highlight the intricate relationship between metabolic health and dermatological presentations, emphasizing the importance of comprehensive health assessments and management strategies to address underlying conditions associated with xanthalasma. Number 4. Eruptive Xanthematosis is a dermatological condition characterized by the eruption of small, pimply, waxy bumps across various areas of the body, including the hands, feet, arms, legs, and even the buttocks. These eruptions typically manifest without significant pain, although they may induce mild itching in some cases. It is noteworthy that eruptive xanthematosis is not contagious. This offers reassurance regarding its non-infectious nature and underscores the importance of individualized management strategies. Number five, these hyperpigmented skin patches, commonly referred to as acanthosis nigricans, predominantly manifest on areas such as the neck, armpits, groin, and any regions with skin folds. The precise etiology of acanthosis nigricans remains elusive. However, it is strongly associated with insulin resistance, a pivotal factor in the pathogenesis of diabetes. Furthermore, acanthosis nigricans may manifest in individuals who are overweight or obese, as well as those with other metabolic conditions like polycystic ovary syndrome and Cushing syndrome. 
Importantly, Acanthosis nigricans is not contagious and often resolves spontaneously within several months. The underlying mechanism of its occurrence is believed to involve inflammation, which can be associated with various conditions, including diabetes, autoimmune disorders, thyroiditis, hyperlipidemia, and exceptionally rare forms of cancer. Number six, diabetic dermopathy. A common skin condition seen in individuals with diabetes is believed to be linked to injury in the small blood vessels supplying the skin. This vascular impairment can lead to poor circulation, resulting in skin structure and appearance changes. Furthermore, alterations in the skin's structure may also play a role in developing these characteristic patches. These changes could involve disruptions in collagen and other structural proteins and alterations in the composition of the skin's supportive tissues. Number seven, diabetic hand syndrome, diabetic chiroarthropathy is a condition characterized by thickened, waxy skin over the palm aspect of the hand. This leads to reduced mobility and flexibility, particularly in the joints of the hand, metacarpophalangeal, or MCP, and fingers, proximal interphalangeal, or PIP. Clinicians commonly use two tests to assess this condition. The prayer sign, where individuals attempt to bring their palms together in a praying position, and the tabletop sign, where the affected hand is placed flat on a table surface. In both tests, restrictions in joint mobility and thickened skin indicate the presence of diabetic hand syndrome. This condition significantly affects hand function and quality of life, necessitating early recognition and intervention. Management strategies include optimizing blood sugar control, physical therapy to improve joint mobility, and interventions to address skin thickening. Prompt diagnosis and management are crucial to mitigate the progression of diabetic hand syndrome and preserve hand function. Number eight, fungal infections. In individuals with diabetes, elevated blood sugar levels create a favorable environment for fungal infections to thrive. Fungi proliferate in warm, moist areas, making regions like the armpits, groin, under the breasts, and around the nails susceptible to colonization. The oral cavity can also host fungal overgrowth, worsening conditions like thrush, Additionally, high blood sugar compromises the immune system, increasing vulnerability to recurrent infections. This weakened immune response leads to frequent fungal infections, externally on the skin and internally in areas such as the mouth and genitals. Seeking medical attention is crucial if recurrent thrush or skin infections occur, as diabetes could be an underlying cause. It's crucial to diagnose and manage diabetes promptly for preventing complications and effectively treating fungal infections. Treatment typically involves antifungal creams, with infections usually resolving within weeks. Addressing underlying diabetes is essential to prevent future occurrences and maintain overall health. Number nine, people who have diabetes are more likely to have foot sores and ulcers, highlighting the importance of regular foot and leg checks. These assessments, typically done annually, are critical for maintaining optimal foot health in diabetic individuals. The heightened susceptibility to these complications stems from several factors, notably diabetic neuropathy, which involves nerve damage impairing sensation perception. This condition reduces sensitivity to pain and pressure points, leading to a lack of protective responses against skin issues. Additionally, diabetes often causes poor circulation and high blood sugar levels, further hindering the healing process. Reduced blood flow limits nutrient and immune cell delivery to affected areas, prolonging healing and increasing vulnerability to infections. Prompt and vigilant wound care management is essential to prevent complications in diabetic individuals due to the delayed healing and heightened infection risk associated with foot sores. Number 10. Bullosis diabeticorum, diabetic blisters. Diabetic blisters, also called bullosis diabeticorum, look like burn blisters. They can show up on your lower legs and feet and sometimes on your arms and hands. Even though they may seem scary, they don't hurt and usually go away on their own. The cause of diabetic blisters is unknown. They can appear even if there's no injury to the skin. You're more likely to get them if your blood sugar stays high for a long time. Most of these blisters heal without leaving a scar. Checking your feet and skin every day is the best way to catch blisters early. Keeping your blood sugar levels normal is the best way to prevent them from appearing or getting worse. Number 11. Skin tags are more common in individuals with diabetes, although their presence alone does not confirm the condition. Factors like insulin resistance, obesity, and hormonal changes contribute to their development. While genetic predisposition also plays a role, most people with skin tags don't have diabetes. In diabetic individuals, skin tags often appear as small, round patches, usually on the lower legs, 
with a light brown or reddish color and a slightly indented shape. Understanding this association can offer insights into health status, but further evaluation by a healthcare professional is necessary, especially for those with other diabetes risk factors. Addressing underlying metabolic or hormonal imbalances is crucial for managing overall health and reducing diabetes-related complications. Number 12. Dry, itchy skin can stem from various factors, including dryness and impaired circulation, both of which are heightened concerns among individuals with diabetes. Excessive sugar in the bloodstream prompts the body to draw fluid from its cells to generate sufficient urine to eliminate the surplus sugar, potentially resulting in dry skin. Number 13. Bacterial infections can lead to conditions such as cellulitis, characterized by localized redness and warmth of the skin. If left untreated, cellulitis has the potential to progress and spread throughout the body, resulting in systemic symptoms such as fever and malaise. Additionally, diabetics are at heightened risk of developing other types of bacterial infections, including impetigo and folliculitis. Recurrent occurrences of these infections warrant careful consideration of underlying diabetes, as they may serve as early indicators of the condition. Therefore, individuals experiencing frequent bacterial infections should undergo a thorough medical evaluation to rule out diabetes and initiate appropriate management. As we conclude this enlightening journey, don't forget to click subscribe and turn on notifications for more health tips. Remember that your skin is a mirror reflecting your inner health. Paying attention to these 13 skin signs could potentially save your life or that of a loved one. It's important to consult with a healthcare professional if you observe any unusual alterations in your skin. Keep in mind, identifying diabetes early is essential for effective management. So keep an eye on your skin and take care of your health because you are important. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.